Hi Leos, it's Nick. This is your weekly reading. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is for all my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. So we are going to go over a little bit of health, career, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And then this week, instead of the new moon message like we did last week, we're going to do a love message because of Valentine's Day. Whether you celebrate it or not, who cares? Why not do a love message, okay? And this week in the sky, we have Mars and Venus going into Aquarius and Pisces season begins on the 18th. I did already run down the little explanations for that in the February Astral Energies video, so you can always refer back to that. And then after these weeklies, um, your February mid-monthly reading should be coming next, okay? All right, so um, what else? Oh, and the extended reading part two will be linked below if you're interested afterwards. All right, so Leos, what's your love message this week? It is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love. All right, so if any of you maybe were hesitating or you were having second thoughts, maybe this is like confirmation or a sign, you're like, hmm, all right, I guess I was thinking about it, but I was like, hmm, I don't know. But now that you mention it, I guess I should express it. So express your love however that means, or however that resonates for you. Okay, so your health for this week, you guys got the four of wands. Nice, so it looks like you're in good health, good spirits for the most part. I feel like you could be um, getting into some chocolates or maybe eating some chocolates or buying some chocolates or someone could be getting you some chocolates, maybe some wine if some of you like wine. You could be getting invited to maybe some dinner, gathering, Galentine's Day, um, or going somewhere to some kind of event possibly. Um, or maybe you're uh, you're taking yourself out somewhere possibly that you enjoy that just makes you feel good. Um, I do see that you could be um, eating or having more like flavorful, spicy, uh, uh, colorful foods maybe or just eating something really like uh, that just ah, like it's your favorite it makes you feel really good it makes you feel lively so yeah like flavorful things uh, comforting food wine chocolate you know like feel good um, um, kind of stuff like that and yeah it just feels like you're in good spirits um, and your your energy seems to be in a in pretty much in a good spot for the most part at least for your health okay um, then when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances. In this area of life, you guys got the seven of cups. So I feel like when it comes to this area of life that you, there could be a lot of <laughs> this, two kids on their bikes. They're like zoom, going like really fast down the, the path. It's funny. Anyways, so when it comes to this area of life with your career work finances, I feel like you could be really highly creative and imaginative and have like all these like ideas and brainstorming and feeling kind of like, ah, oh, like dreamy. But on the other end, you could also be very distracted. So you just want to be aware of that, be mindful because there could be a lot of distractions, a lot of things going on. And then you kind of get lost in it and forget about like certain things you have to do. Um, so just be aware of that. There could be a lot of distractions or just like a lot of fun things maybe happening. Um, maybe events afterwards or before or just things happening, music, you know, stuff that may sidetrack you or could distract you from like things that you have to get done. So you just want to make sure that you don't let that get in between maybe important tasks or you know, things that you need to get done. So um, I feel like uh, while you're, you, there could be more like socializing at work, talking, or like, hey, what's going on? Or like gossiping and, you know, talking, sharing feelings. What's going on? What are you doing this week? Oh, I'm doing this. Or how did your date go? Oh, it went like this. What did you and your, you know, your person do? So there could be a lot of talking, um, socializing, sharing feelings and emotions. So there could be a lot of distractions. You just want to make sure you don't that doesn't get in between things that are important. Okay. All right. Then when it comes and the people who may be talking the most or distracting you the most could be water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. All right. Then maybe you're watching me while you're at work and I'm a Pisces. So there you go. Okay. So then when it comes to your uh, love, romance, dating, or relationships, on your side, we have the High Priestess, Five of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So some of you may have Virgo or Pisces somewhere in your chart, possibly. 
Um, also, maybe your first, middle, or last name could start with a B as in boy or a J as in jam. Then on this other side, for this other person, this can be the past, present, or future situation, or all three, all the above. We have the lovers, the queen of swords, and the king of cups. All right, so as far as who you could be dealing with, possibly, it could be a Gemini um, or another air sign, so Aquarius, Libra or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, or maybe like a mix match. Maybe they're Gemini Sun and like Pisces Moon or Scorpio Moon or something like that, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any sound like I always say to you guys, it could just be the energy this person is embodying, playing out, or maybe be like a mix match of one of those, but it could be air or water possibly. So what's going on here? I kind of feel like two people, two people here who like, and you especially, you're, you're very in tune right now, or like your intuition is like, you know, beeping is, is, uh, is like alerting you. You feel it. You feel like you're, this person may be thinking about you or missing you or likes you, but you're like, I don't know, am I crazy? I just feel it. And I don't know. Are we like telepathically communicating? But both of you are feel like both of you can intuitively kind of feel that you're both thinking and feeling the same thing about each other, but neither of you are saying it or neither of you are actually like speaking, okay? Um, and this can be maybe someone you kind of know or you've kind of like communicated with or maybe you guys haven't talked or this can literally be like your soulmate, your person, but you haven't met yet and you guys both are kind of like looking for each other, but you can feel that like you're getting closer, so I feel like this is someone who is really charming, uh, really friendly, easy to talk to, very open-minded. They're probably really sweet and um, funny and charming. I think I already said that charming. Could have a really nice smile, okay? Be really likable, have like a likable personality. Um, could be uh, funny, okay, funny, charming, good smile, maybe nice eyes as well. And could be someone who is well-spoken or, uh, uh, knows how to speak really well or is very relatable when they talk to you and has a soft heart okay they could be really romantic into music art uh, very understanding um, a good listener someone who yeah like it's like a mix of both air and water I guess you could take me as an example because I'm a Pisces sun but Aquarius moon and Libra rising so I'm like a mix of water and air so they may have a similar kind of composition or like combination so whether you guys are like together or not or talking or whatever this person likes you they feel like you're maybe potentially maybe someone they want to be with or like are their soulmate or maybe you guys both feel like you're kind of like you have something special but neither of you has said it and you you're just kind of sitting back you're observing the situation you're observing them you're not doing anything you're not saying anything you're just feeling things out you're feeling the situation the vibe and you just want to read kind of like read it out before you actually like dive in or share anything but this person has been thinking about you and they feel like this was like divine or maybe like this was fate or like our angels brought us together or whatever you want to call it and so they're thinking about you and you probably think you're probably like does this person thinking about me yeah they are thinking about you and you are also feeling maybe sometimes kind of lonely or you feel kind of left out or you're kind of scared because there's been a lot of changes or things have happened before that left you feeling disappointed. Maybe some of you were abandoned or you grew up in a single parent household or maybe you have a child and you're a single parent. Whatever the case is, you've dealt with some changes in your reality that made you feel a little bit maybe insecure or low confidence at times and this person is like waiting to hear from you or they're hoping that you will reach out to them or like talk to them possibly and you have been thinking a lot it's like you may be overthinking over analyzing things because you're trying to like be more spiritual or you're trying to make the right decision that's right for your spirit and you're kind of like not wanting to jump the gun or like act too soon or um you know do any impulsive make any impulsive moves or decisions but you're also maybe like not you're like withholding you're um uh 
you're kind of just like stagnant right now. You're not making any moves, but this person really likes you. And I feel like they have an open heart or like they are very kind, loving and genuine. And I do feel like they have good intentions. They may be older than you, if not by age, maybe by experience level, you could be someone who, again, like I said, you could be really intuitive, maybe almost psychic. You follow your heart, your intuition. You could also be someone who's very spiritual. And so that is something that makes you kind of slow down when it comes to connecting with people because you you are careful of like energy being exchanged you could be also someone who works in like health medicine the medical industry um or you're very particular detailed about certain things and i feel like this person though is really loving really open-hearted and they seem to be high vibrational for the most part and maybe mature when it comes to their feelings and emotions so maybe this is a sign for you to express your love or maybe you know, don't withhold too much. If you are interested in someone and they haven't shown you any red flags or haven't done anything bad, maybe it doesn't hurt to like, you know, reciprocate or like show a little interest. Cause I feel like maybe you haven't shown any interest. And so they're kind of like, well, I don't know what to do. So if you do get an opportunity, maybe it's not a bad idea to show interest, you know, what do you have to lose? All right, so let's continue Son of Extended to get more information to see where their energy is at. What are they thinking? What are they feeling when it comes to you? What they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action move will be towards you and then follow it up with your advice at the end, okay? All right, so we'll continue Son of Extended. Link will be below. I'll see you guys there. I'll see you for your next reading. Take care. Bye.